what in- International Women's Day means to me. So International Women's Day to me is a celebration of women and the men that support them as their equal. It's to celebrate women's achievement and collaborate on what else needs to be done. Two years ago, my son asked why girls weren't as good as boys. I said, I know you don't think that about me or your nana, so why would you ask that? He said, well, I don't see them play football on TV like the boys. Last year, I yelled out to my son that his AFL team was playing on TV. He ran out and sat down and watched the WAFL and turned to me and said, they're girls. Yes, I replied. He watched that game with my husband as I looked from the door way behind and sobbed. (laughs) I said it was touching to know that young girls could watch their idols and know that there was no gender limitations to them being on that field one day. But it also meant so much to me as a mother of boys. My son didn't care what gender they were. He just cared when they dropped the ball or missed a goal the same way as he would watching another team. I want us to celebrate strengths and achievements and support weaknesses in individuals exclusive of gender. I don't want my husband to be made f- to feel any less masculine because he stayed at home when our boys were young while I, I worked. It suited our family. We need to get rid of the terms, it's a man's job or a woman's job. It what suits the individual or the family. I don't want to be painted out as anti-feminist because I like to put on lipstick and have my husband's dinner on the table when he gets home. I am not suppressed. My husband had not asked me to do it. I love it and it suits us. I want women to be able to walk down the street and feel safe. I don't want them to be jeered at. Don't give me the settle down love. We're just yelling out a compliment or we're just looking. We are sexual. We appreciate the male form. We look. But men don't know what it's like to feel threatened or unsafe the same way that women do. We will never be physically as strong as males. We deserve to be protected just as men deserve to be respected. This is inside as well as outside our homes. Men don't feel threatened or confused by the Me Too campaign. We are aware that most men are decent. We're standing up to those men that have crossed the line of decency and violated us. To the boss that felt me up, you changed me. And I loathe you for making me feel ashamed, but now I'd like to thank you. I made a promise after you that I would never let anyone make me feel helpless again. You made me assertive and unapologetic to use the words no when I needed. These are not male traits. These are human traits and everyone has a right to use them. When my young niece grows up and goes into the workforce, I want her to be shocked when I tell her that in my day, there was still a gender pay divide. Companies, CEOs, you need to make pay equality a priority right now. And lastly, to my fellow women, you need to back each other and you need to back yourself. Be kind to one another, because you need to remember, we are in this together. Oh, that's beautiful. The end. (laughs) (laughs) That was really good. (laughs) It's it's amazing. It's an amazing piece you've written there. No, I just feel like, I, I, I just feel like International Women's Day is different to a lot of people and there's a lot of people listening that are going through different things, you know, whether it is domestic violence or whether it is you're in the workforce and you're getting paid less for a, a male counterpart. So I think, I, I think, you know, International Women's Day does mean a lot to different people and some people just want to celebrate and go, you know, for me, I feel an equal. Mm-hmm. I've always been brought up an equal. Yeah. And men, take those words, I think, that you said there where you recognise that not all men are bad because yeah. they can, sometimes the message can be misscrewed by, by men. Going, I think Whoa. a lot of what's happening at the moment, yeah. I think guys are feeling overwhelmed and like, oh, we're not allowed to say anything. And you are. What we're saying is you, you would, there are guys that have treated girls in a way that you would be disgusted if it was your sister, if it was your mother, if it was your partner. And it's yeah. probably behavior that you can't even fathom. And if you sat down and you spoke to your partner about some of the ways that she had been treated, you'd actually be mortified. And they're, they're the sort of things that we're talking about. It's not everyday behavior or yeah. flirting in the workplace. So I think we just need to feel comfortable with each other.